Hello everyone and welcome to a guide for the blood magic mod for Minecraft version 1.12. Now keep in mind that the crafting recipes and the amounts that are used in this guide are from the base version of blood magic. If you're using certain mod packs the amounts and recipes can change. Now let's hop right into it. To start off you need to make rudimentary snares and to make these what you'll need to do is you need to put four string in the corners fill the rest of the board with iron and one redstone in the middle and this will make four rudimentary snares and keep in mind that they will only stack up to 16 the use of these is to get demonic wills and to get demonic wills you will need to throw these at hostile mobs they will not work on neutral or friendly mobs it could take a couple of throws but you need to make sure you see white particles coming out of the mob depending on your particle settings what you see will change, and if they are on minimal, you will not see any particles at all. After you have the particles coming off the mob, kill it and it will drop a demonic will. Each demonic will will have an assigned willpower, and this is important later. Now that you have your demonic will, what can you do with it? Well, the next thing you need to make is called the Hellfire Forge, and it's made using one block of iron in the bottom, four pieces of stone on each side, one gold in the middle, and two iron in the top corners. And this will give you your Hellfire Forge. The Hellfire Forge is an important part of the mod and it will help you get all of your sigils as well as another important item, the Petty Tarnic Gem. To make this, you'll need one glass, lapis, gold, and redstone placed in the corners of the forge interface. On the right side, you need to place a demonic will worth at least one will quality. Now you see, I have multiple wills in my inventory, all collected from creepers, ranging in quality. To create the Tarn Gem, you will need one that at least has one will quality. Place it on the slot only on the far right. When everything is placed correctly, the large bar will start to fill, and then you will have your Tarnic Gem. As you can see, demonic wills don't stack, and this can cause a storage nightmare down the line. And the Tarn Gem solves that by storing all of the will qualities into one item from every mob you kill. But to do that, you have to keep crafting snares, and that can get expensive. Now I have a solution for you. If you place a Petty Tartaric Gem and an Iron Sword into the forge with one will quality, you will create the Sentient Sword. By right clicking it, you will unlock its power by changing its attack damage from half a heart to three hearts, or equal to the Iron Sword. Now, the Sentient Sword eliminates that you need to use the snares, and any hostile mobs you kill will create demonic wills, or their will quality will be stored in the Tartar Gem. Just like a normal Iron Sword, the Sentient Sword can be enchanted in an enchantment table, or by using a book in an anvil. You watching may be wondering, but where's the blood in the Blood Magic mod? Now, without further ado, if you place a furnace in the center, two gold in the bottom corners, stone filling up the rest of the sides, and one demonic will, will quality does not matter, you will create your tier 1 blood altar. To fill it, you'll need to craft a sacrificial dagger. And to craft it, you need to put glass in an upside down L, one gold in the center, and one iron in the bottom left corner, and you'll have yourself your sacrificial dagger. With the dagger in your hand, right click near blood altar, and it'll fill up with blood. It will do one heart of damage, and the blood altar will fill up with 200 MBs of blood. Now, five hearts equal one bucket of blood. Now it is important to note that this, that this blood is different from the blood of Tinker's Construct or similar mods. They are not compatible and it will not work. So you can't fill up a forge with blood and pump it into here. They are two separate entities. Now, speaking of that, the blood altar, if you look, you can see the amount of blood that is in it. So when you start to fill it, you look at it and you might see it disappearing. You won't see it here. Now. This is because there are two separate inventories for the blood altar. This is because when you automate it, technically it can't take out of the tank you see here, it gets filled into another tank. That tank 
can hold one bucket of blood or 1,000 millibuckets. So if you see it disappearing, don't worry, it's just going in that tank. And when you destroy it, that tank will empty. So if you remove the blood altar and then replace it, that tank will now be empty. So if you start to fill it, that tank will need to be filled again. But once it's filled, as you can see here that I have filled it, no matter how many times you do it, it will not drain and you have all your blood right here. One of the first items you create with your blood altar is your weak blood work. When you have 2,000 millibuckets in your altar with a diamond in your hand, right click the altar and wait for it to be transformed into the blood orb. Now, if you right click with your blood orb, the blood will enter your blood network instead of your altar. To tell how much blood is in your network or your blood altar if you don't have Wayla or similar mods, you will need to make a divination sigil. To make it, go back to your Hellfire Forge and place redstone, bone meal or white dye, gunpowder, and either coal or charcoal. And with one will quality, you have arcane ashes. Right click the ground or any flat surface and it will create a rune on it. Now, right click that rune with a piece of redstone and it will change. The final step involves a blank slate. And to make it, place a piece of stone into a blood altar with at least 1,000 and bees of blood. After a short time, you have your blank slate. Now, right click the room with it, watch the little animation process, and pop goes your divination sigil. Now you have everything you need to start in blood magic. Again, keep in mind that the crafting recipes and the amounts are from the base version of blood magic. And if you use certain mod packs, they can change. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this guide, please feel free to check the other ones out on my channel. Thank you and have a good day.